Good morning, everyone. I just want to show you guys how conscious this baby is that he's wearing something new. This is a new outfit he hasn't worn before. It's waiting for him to grow into it. But look at him. <laughs> yeah. What are you wearing there? Huh? Look at your shirt. Ooh. He's a good looking boy. So today I'm going to start building this little kid's tent. It's like a teepee style tent. And I got these rolls right here. I got them free on uh, this buy and sell group on Facebook. Someone was just giving them away. So I'm gonna go turn them into a tent. Well then Liam is uh, building this. You're gonna make it? You make it then. You're gonna make a tent? He's so adorable. <laughs> This is me trying to get stuff done all the time. Oh, he's getting hijacked. He always gets hijacked. This is why it takes me so long to do things. But I'm um, noticing my poles are all different in height. So I'm gonna meet somewhere in between where, so that when they crisscross meet each other, they're, they're leveled, right? So that's why I just stood them up against the wall like this. I'm gonna measure the longest one. I go 11 inches. That means for the for the shortest one there, I will be at about six inches. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the tall one as my pilot. So I use this as a straight edge almost. It doesn't have to be exact, but just to give you an idea, right? I marked along all of these. This is where I'm drilling holes and that's where they're gonna be attached. Again, starting with the biggest one, and drill all the way through. There we go. You can see that. Obviously, gonna have to make that hole a little bit bigger, but it's just a pile of hole for now, which is good. Okay, so now I'm gonna change the size and make it a little bit bigger just because of the size of my rope. So that's the size of my rope. It's gonna go through that. So right now I use uh, 3 16 for this. So I'm gonna switch it up. Okay, so I'm going for the full uh, 3 8 Hopefully that's big enough and won't compromise the uh, structure. Oh my goodness, you're getting this all over you. It's in your hair, it's on your face, and you like it. You think it's snowing or something? Jeez. Hello, Bubba. I know, it's on your hands. I know, it's in your hair. Daddy's gonna be like, what did you do to my son? Huh? So now that, that those holes are drilled, I'm going to take those outside because I'm going to paint them and then we're going to let them dry.
Hey, so they are done and dry. Gonna obviously refine the holes in there. And where's my rope? And put my rope through it. But the thing with this rope is it's very, um, what do you call it? What do you call this? Frays. It frays easily. Thanks, love. So what I did is I just uh, burnt it a little bit and stuck it together just to make it more. Your pyros and fires. Get something solid like this and just kind of run that through. And then voila! Okay, so now that I've wrote them together, I'm just gonna pull the string through. So the idea is to turn these two pieces of rope into one. And then once you have that, then you can kind of spread your holes apart. spread them out even wider but once you have it at that point what you want to do is wrap these two strings around So I looped around with both of them and then I looped around again with just one because what I want to do is loop back around this way where I came from with the other one that I didn't loop, loop through and then tie a knot right there. as you need to feel that it's secure. See? <laughs> and I can move this around if I need to. But yeah, just grab that one, lift it up. It's pretty light. And then when you put it down, you just spread the legs apart again like this. Okay then. No, love, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not pregnant. Thanks a lot. Definitely ridiculous. So, what I'm trying is this fitted sheet. Because I want to tuck the, whatever you call this, the fitted parts into the legs. The good thing about a fitted sheet is as you spread the legs, I'm finding you get more room in the base here. So what I'm going to do right now is just pick up my needle, wrap that around there. And just stitch that together. But I want it loose enough so that if I have to take that out to wash this, because I mean this is for a baby after all, um, that I can stretch out the elastic and just pull that over like so, right? This is part of the reason why I chose to use a finished sheet. 
because it already has the elastic work done for you. There's our TP, and we can go inside here, snuggle, do some reading, quite a bit of room in here. I think uh, Liam will enjoy this. No, love, I don't want to take pictures of your butt. Love, I picture of a butt. No. I know, but I don't want a picture of your butt, love. Yeah, but whatever you miss these look at. Hey Chewy. See? There is room in here for a kitty. Look at the kitty. I like it. And there's room for a puppy. And I'm pretty sure there's room for a baby in here too. He's getting ready to sleep. He wants to go under the cover so he can sleep. <laughs> Jimmy's trying to sleep in here, love. He's he's borrowing. There he goes. Yep, under the cover. There you go. Oh, he's a kitty boy. He's a little kitty boy. You're a cutie boy. And it's a hit. It's a hit. Yeah. Those are my babies. Yeah. My babies. You could even get like lights, you know, that run along just to brighten it, like Christmas lights or something like that. Then that way it's more bright. But. <laughs> The thing that, the okay, so that's it for tonight. Oh yeah, let me show you this lasagna that Devin made. The oven was still acting sketchy just like before when I made mine, but we kind of had to hold the door shut like this for it to actually like cook. Anyways, back to this. I will put instructions on how to make one of those in the description bar. Good morning, everyone. Say good morning. Good morning. Okay, so strange. The puppy ended up sleeping down here in the tent. Um, he normally likes to sleep up with me, but I guess he liked it so much. You can see where he like borrowed and he was sleeping right there with the covers. Is that your tent? Is that your little tent? You can hang out in there with your puppy and your kitty. You can have toys in there. You could play. I'll get more toys later and put them in there. Look at them. The thing is because what I like about the frame using the the cardboard uh, rolls is it's light and because he's so active if he drops it it's not gonna hurt him oh speaking of he just did drop it and then he ran away let me fix the light anyway guys I just wanted to show you the results of that and how much you know babies kids love this uh, 
but again i'm gonna say goodbye right now and if you like this video please like subscribe and share with all your friends leave a comment um if there's anything that you missed or want to know and i will try to answer it okay uh-oh don't bite the puppy just give him hugs 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 be gentle soft soft okay anyways have a peachy life people Da -da. Say bye bye. Bye bye.